Don't Lose Your Sense of Humor. It's The Scent to the Rose. John Galsworthy, the English writer and playwright, the creator of The Pen Club, the author of The Foresight Saga, and the winner of the Nobel Prize, said... He was born in a family of aristocrats in Surrey in 1867. The only son of a rich solicitor studied at a privileged school and then went to Oxford University. Galsworthy got the lawyer's diploma, but against his father's wish, he didn't practice law and preferred to enjoy his life, read a lot, and travel. During his trip round the world that John undertook to improve his knowledge of marine law, he made friends with the young writer Joseph Conrad and for the first time began to think over the literary activity. At the age of 28, John met his only love, his cousin's wife, Ada Galsworthy. Thanks to her, the young man made up his mind to realize his ambition and to become a writer. In 1897, he published his first collection of short stories, From the Four Winds, under the pen name of John St. John, because Galsworthy was afraid of his father, who didn't believe in his son's literary talent and considered his activities a useless pastime. In the next collection of short stories that came out in a year, the Foresight family, immortalized by the writer in his later works, was mentioned. It was not until his fifth book, the Island Pharisees, that Galsworthy published under his own name. Criticizing the British high society, John brought on himself the anger of the aristocracy, including his own family. In order not to fall out with his relatives completely, Galsworthy changed the subject of his works and started writing romance novels, The Dark Flower, Beyond, Saint's Progress. However, his behavior still displeased standoffish English people, John neglected proprieties, kept away from the mainstream of the society for five years, and refused to be photographed point-blank. After the death of his father in 1904, John Galsworthy became independent, and not only financially. At last Ada was able to move to his place, and when a year later, her divorce proceedings having been completed, the two got married. The prospects of living together, after nine years of public censure and sharp attacks of the relatives, inspired Galsworthy to the creation of the novel The Man of Property that was completed in 1906 and became the first book of the trilogy, The Foresight Saga. One of the prototypes of the main woman character was Ada Galsworthy, the writer's wife, and the writer depicted the history of her first unlucky marriage, showing the relations of Soames and Irene Foresight, the characters of that novel. The novel, The Man of Property, brought Galsworthy the reputation of an eminent writer. After publishing The Man of Property, Galsworthy forgot about his heroes for eight years. During this period, he wrote some novels and took great interest in theater. And though his realistic dramas concerning the latest news didn't outlive the times, but they brought Galsworthy fame as a successful playwright. And according to the words of Winston Churchill, the play Justice, condemning solitary confinement, had a serious influence on his prison reform program. Not only John Galsworthy's works, but also his deeds contributed to the changes that took place in the British society. Galsworthy spoke actively in support of social reforms and campaigned for the revision of the law on censorship he spent at least half of his income on charity. Galsworthy even turned down knighthood because he thought that writers and reformers shouldn't accept titles. Observing his rule to write every morning, Galsworthy left a huge literary legacy. 20 novels, 27 plays, three collections of poetry, a lot of short stories, essays, and sketches. However, for the readers, John Galsworthy will always be the author of the Foresight Saga. This story of three generations of one family became the chronicle of the English life from the end of the 19th till the beginning of the 20th century. 
Developing the traditions of Balzac and Tolstoy, Galsworthy fixed life with its heat, cold, and bitterness. The second cycle of the novels about Forsythe is called A Modern Comedy. During the last years of his life, Galsworthy created the third trilogy, End of the Chapter, the main characters of which are the Forsythe's distant relatives. In 1932, Galsworthy was awarded the Nobel Prize. The 66-year-old writer was mortally ill and didn't attend the reward ceremony, but he asked to give the Nobel Prize to the Pen Club, an international organization of writers that Galsworthy founded in 1921. The writer died on the 31st of January, 1933, that is, less than two months after receiving the Nobel Prize. Some literary critics accused Galsworthy of winning the hearts of mediocre readers and not intellectuals. But nevertheless, many people think that John Galsworthy will remain the last prominent prosaist of the Victorian era in the history of literature. <laughs>